Skilla and in this video you will learn the rainbow flick. The time is running, so let's go! There are two ways of doing the rainbow flick, while standing still and while running. The first one is easier, so let's start with that. First, place the ball between your feet. Once you're here, then you have to close your feet and grab the ball. It may be easier to lift your heels up a little bit and go on your toes so you can grab the ball better with the instep area. If you grab it with this bone, it might be harder. The grip is not as good. And once you get comfortable with that, you can start jumping with your heels going to the side. You can try both ways and see what's more comfortable for you. And I know that looks kind of stupid, but just wait, we are almost there. Because now there is only one final step, which is releasing the ball. So once you get comfortable with the ball between your feet and get comfortable with this movement, all you have to do is lean a little bit forward and then release the ball. And voila, that's basically the rainbow flick. And now we can also practice it from the movement. So come here and lift it up. There's one thing that we can do to make the ball go even higher, which is lifting the back foot up. So instead of moving the feet at the same time, we can actually move the back foot a little bit higher. So this is when you lift the back foot up. And now you can do this while running, but it's really difficult. So we have to modify this a little bit to make it easier to do while running. So let's move on to the second style. Imagine that you're running full speed and the ball is rolling forward. You're running full speed so you can't just jump on both feet like this. So when the ball is rolling forward, we have to place one foot in front of the ball. Then we can wait just a little bit so the ball gets closer. And then we are going to lock the ball in there with the back foot. Like this. And you can practice this movement alone. So just roll the ball and lock it in there. And then instead of lifting both feet at the same time, it's not really going to work. <laughs> so instead of that, when you have the ball in here, you actually have to use your back foot first. So you have to lift the ball up. And the last part is kicking the ball up and over the opponent. And that's the hardest part because we have to do many things at the same time. This foot keeps rolling the ball upwards and this other foot does this movement. Roll it up and kick the ball. The easy way to practice this is just to keep the ball in here and try to flick the ball on your hand. Like this. You see, it's a really small movement. You don't have to do a lot. Just put it in here and kick it like that. So to actually get the ball over the opponent, we have to do a little bit more. So it's the same movement, but we just need to lean more forward and kick more with the back foot. And voila, that's the rainbow flick. And once you get comfortable doing that on a steady ball, you can start to do it with the movement. So roll the ball forward, grab the ball and do the rainbow flick. But wait, what if you still can't do the rainbow flick? Well, these are some of the most common mistakes and how to fix them and also one extra tip that you can do to make it easier. Definitely the most common mistake that I see people do is not grabbing the ball tight enough. Because if you don't grab the ball tight enough, it doesn't matter what else you do because you are going to lose the ball. So how to fix this? Just practice grabbing the ball, jumping around, lifting the ball, keeping it here, doing some moves, and then doing the rainbow flick. The second mistake is that people are not leaning forward enough. One way to make sure you're leaning forward enough is to grab the ball between your feet and try to reach the ground with your hand. To so reach the ground and do the rainbow flick. The third mistake is that people are not kicking the ball enough with the back foot. So the easy fix again is just to keep that in mind and make sure to kick the ball enough with your back foot. And the last extra tip is actually to take air from the ball. I know this is kind of cheating, but you know, many freestyle footballers do this as well. It's easier to do freestyle skills when you don't have that much air in the ball. But you know, if you want to be able to do this in games, then you should practice with a full ball and pump the ball fully. But this is a great way to start. You know, it can be easier, so that way you can learn it. And after that, you can pump the ball even more and be able to do it like that. So do as you wish, but 
this is something that might help you. If you want to learn the knuckleball shooting technique, make sure to check out this video, which has over 1 million views. Thanks so much for the views, for the nice comments and everything. Hopefully you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. It's been Skilla. See you soon. Bye.